Sorry about that, guys. It's a little behind. I don't know why it's behind. Okay. So we got Overwatch. Yes, I'm excited about that. Let's make sure it's not too loud. Oh, I didn't notice the Route 66 thing. Route 66 thing. Overwatch is coming to the Switch. Hmm. Hello, everyone. I'll be your guide for today's... Who is no, that's not, I don't remember that guy. I'm Shinya Takahashi. Oh, Takahashi, okay. I thought it was... And that was, of course, we're only like 30 seconds behind, so that's not too Entertainment. Oh no, we're the game is scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch October 15th. Wait, I don't want to spoil so it. Please look forward to it. Looks like Luigi's Mansion. Okay, three. Let's next. get into our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Please take a look. You gotta see these floors of the hotel for yourself. Luigi's Mansion 3 takes place in a haunted hotel, where every floor has a distinct theme unlike any other. Case in point. Tomb Suites. Tomb Suites. I mean, a pyramid inside a hotel. What's that frame rate? Guess we should expect some mummies, harsh sands, and booby traps. As for the other floors, well, there's a disco floor, a pirate-themed restaurant. You get the idea. As a restaurant. The usual look at amenities. Look how deep his mustache is more detailed than the usual. Check out before you, well, check out. Speaking of amenities... Step right up to this all-new attraction, Screen Park. In this party mode, there's a Luigi team and a Gooigi team. Oh, that's interesting. With only one Nintendo Switch system, oh, it's eight players. two to eight players can battle it out. See which team can defeat the most ghosts. Does that have to be Let an even number, though? piloting floaties with the Poltergeist G00 and break the most targets. Uh, this hey, is just, we're watching the Nintendo Direct today. That's what we're watching. How are you doing, Nick? Doors on October 31st. I might play some American Truck Simulator Halloween. after this. This is this is like a press conference. But, oh, it's a new Kirby it's game. New oh, it's free. Kirby oh, okay. I'm not like a diehard Kirby, Kirby fan, but if Kirby it's free, I'll try it. Kirby are in for some wicked boss fights. We're calling it Super Kirby Clash. Take up quests in. I don't know why I expected any other better title than that. You and your team will pick four jobs. I really don't That's care though that much. Get your weapons, get your gear, and get ready. Some mighty tough. I bet you have to be a Nintendo Switch Online subscriber to get this. There are more than Probably. So, get a look at your enemy and make sure you have the Which right I jobs am, but for the job. The key to victory is to know your. You're doing okay. Okay. Or, or you're doing good. Okay. You can play That's good. I'm doing good too. Together on one. We system. just found out that Overwatch was Keep just announced for the wireless. Switch, coming out October 15th, at least online. in North America. I'm not sure about Europe. Someone said it might come out later in Europe. It'll be time and I'm watching the American direct. From around the world so it might be a little different than in the Super UK and the rest of Europe. Later today. Oh, it's not? And okay, remember, so we got a new Kirby game coming out two. today for free. Now, it doesn't, it didn't say anything about Nintendo Switch Online there. This long-awaited, recently released RPG is getting a remake. After 25 years, fans of the Mana series can look forward to the HD remake of the third game. I assume trilogy, it's going to be in Trials English. Of Mana. From six from different characters, you'll choose a protagonist and two companions. The ones you choose will determine which of the interwoven from stories you follow next, through this reimagined world. Now you remember what oh, look at that cleavage. Jessica look at that cleavage. This experience will not be forgotten. As each character advances, they'll have the opportunity to switch their class, allowing them to learn stronger special moves and spells. Step into the light. Or show your dark Isn't this supposed to be like a Final Fantasy spinoff? Characters' appearance and abilities. Unlike the classic version, characters have full range of movement, including jumping and combo attacks for each member of your party. Once again, 
the wheels of fate are beginning to turn. Find out what's in store for the beloved world of Trials of Mana on April 24th, 2020. Just what happened to the crew of this doomed ship? The Oberdin vanished at sea in 1803, this? only to wash up four years later in Falmouth, England, with no sign of survivors. The Does the gameplay black and white? Unknown. As an insurance investigator for the East India Company, you must board the ship and uncover the mystery of its disappearance and return. Your analysis will rely heavily on one less than ordinary device. Use the power of the Momentum Mortem Pocket Watch to turn back time Much. and witness each soul's last moment. You bastard space tape! It's exactly what I give you! Explore the ship. Observe the situation. You're bastards, it said. And record your logical deductions. It's kind of weird to see. The true tale will never be told. I mean, I don't care about the swearing, but it's what weird to see. The Oberdin to such an end. And something that should be like a family-friendly stream, it's just funny to see the word bastards. But Nintendo has changed over the years. That doesn't mean we're getting an Emory of Mario game, though. I, no, I don't think we're going to get that. Okay, I'm sorry to talk about this. I would get that game, but it kind of gives me a little bit of a headache. Just with the art style. I mean, I don't know. Out there with a big if it was only part of the game, it may not bother me as much. Never leave town. Oh, it's from Game Freak. That oh, that's what it's called. Never leave town. People of this peaceful town and the castle protecting it. One if it looks like Pokemon, that's because it's made by the same people that make Pokemon. Monster. To defend the townspeople, one boy named Axe will stand up to face it. And the only weapons he'll need are ideas. But to win one of these battles, you must know when to use them. Strategy is everything if there's any hope to win. During battle, why does this look to garner support for better than the new Pokemon game? Take or maybe that's just me advantage. thinking it does. I mean, the art style looks Seize better. Every opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG from Game Freak. Are you kidding me? And is that why they got lazy the with Pokemon? The game was uh, by Sword and Shield, whatever it's called. Toby Fox. Toby Fox? Oh. Little town uh. hero will make a stand on Nintendo Switch October 16th. I just didn't you expect to hear him. And reload the game later today. Wait, when's it come out? I don't want to keep rewinding because I'm already a little behind. Oh, Banjo Kazooie to Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. We can finally confirm the release date of Challenger Pack Three: Banjo and Kazooie. Banjo and Kazooie. I always say Banjo Kazooie. Kazooie. All right, that's from a uh, Microsoft and Rare. Today. Oh, today. Nice. After today's Nintendo Direct will broadcast a video detailing how to use Banjo and Kazooie, featuring the game's director, Masahiro Sakurai. As a special treat, the video will begin immediately following the Nintendo Direct you're watching right now. To tide yourself over until the release of Banjo and Kazooie, please check it out. But first, Make sure I didn't. Sorry, guys. What the hell? Uh. Wait. <laughs> yes. What the hell? Neo Geo? Are you, oh, come on! Don't troll us, Nintendo. Don't troll us. Is that coming to Nintendo Switch Online? Don't troll us. Do not troll us. I mean, I'll take Neo Geo, but I'd rather take... They gotta be showing us SNES games after this. Oh, is this another Smash... This is Smash Brothers. This is Smash Brothers. This is the... This was leaked the other day, SNK and Smash. I guarantee this is for Smash Brothers. I wanna make sure... It gets... Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not Smash Brothers. But it just said Smash, and that's how they do the invitations. The cards. I think this is Smash Brothers. 
Had a banjo kazooie. Probably spelled wrong. Nah. I believe you spelled that right. Game on 360. Isn't that Street Fighter? Or just me? It looks like Street Fighter. I think it's S and K, which is a. Okay. Yep. It's Smash Brothers. Carrie faces the Fury. Now in development. Okay, so it's not out yet. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. It's kind of crazy that we're gonna Microsoft. Well, Banjo Kazooie's the publisher's Microsoft, it's a, or Microsoft Game Studios, Xbox Game Studios, whatever. It's just crazy that we're getting Microsoft stuff in the game now. Oh, it says it's. Uh, I can't talk. It's that. Uh. So. Microsoft at the bottom. As well as Nintendo and every other company in the world. Joining the battle. That means we've revealed four of the five fighters included in the fighters pass. Can there really be only one left? Yeah, get banjo because I'd always like to play that. We're happy to confirm the development of more DLC fighters for Super Smash Bros. Wait, like season passes or whatever? Outside the five fighters included in the fighters pass. Oh, nice. So There's going to be another season pass. Fighters are in development. Okay. The battle isn't over yet. Is it gonna be like season pass two? Or I know it's not called season pass, but that's basically what it is. Fighters pass is what it's called. So, what do you think? Pretty good. Regarding what was announced about additional fighters at that the ain't end Joker. Of that yeah, Joker is in the game we'll actually. More to share with you in the future. For now, let's continue with some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Are we gonna get Grand Theft Auto Five, Assassin's Creed? Oh, Zelda. It's about right. time to wake the windfish. This comes out Zelda Link's Awakening. September twentieth. The next big adventure. Look at that frame rate. Switch is fast approaching. You'll meet some strangely endearing islanders. Face a series of puzzling tasks. This is rated probably E10 enough. Some oddly familiar faces. Yeah, more. Well, oh Kirby's in. Happens, help Link yeah, escape Kirby's Coholent not. Island. Before its mysteries get yeah, this was originally a Game Boy game. With the all-new Chamber Dungeon, you can place chambers earned on your adventure to arrange your own dungeons. Hmm. Add in plus so it's like Z that Super Mario chambers. Maker, but Zelda Maker. And save Chamber Dungeons to a compatible amiibo figure featuring a character from the oh, Legend of Zelda series. Okay. That way, your friends can, can play we mute them. this for a second? Be ready. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening will launch before you know it on September 20th. The new Link amiibo figure will be available that same day. You know the hero's might from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now join his adventure. Dragon Quest XI S, Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition. Okay, that exactly phone drives me crazy. The most complete version I don't want phone numbers. It, re it says the phone number, that's why I don't like it. HD and the streams graphics. or YouTube videos. Travel to past Dragon Quest worlds. <laughs> Emery game and from Switch. New character focused stories. We do have a landline, but the. I mean, I got my phone too. We only have one landline phone in the house, but if the power goes off, it still works. So that's one good thing about it. Although we have our cell phones now, so we probably could get rid of it. But not everyone. We have people in our family that don't use cell phones yet. Or still, I should say, not yet. All right. I really Until shouldn't be talking then, about this. You can prepare for your adventure with the free demo on Nintendo eShop today. Oh yeah, it says available now. I'm blind apparently. I'm blind apparently. I didn't even say say available now. It's staring right at me in the face. Looking for more Fire Emblem goodness? Then say hello to Tokyo. <laughs> the worlds of the Fire Emblem series and Atlas games have crossed paths, and the result is coming to Nintendo Switch. In North America, in Europe. The story takes place in modern day hmm. Tokyo. Where Tokyo. creative energy is so abundant, it's materialized into something called Performa, which attracts wicked mirages who suck it out of people. No, everyone in our house has phones, but like, up and I'm Itsuki saying like, uh, and his friends who are like my make it in grandma and grandpa. Business. Well, my grandpa died, so Five I guess everyone would have a phone now. A cell dimension. phone, they're not all smartphones, Together, you'll wait most of them are. turn based battles, blending the combat of the Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei series. And in the Nintendo Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't included in the original. Be sure to check out the other new features from the new story elements. To but that one's not a landline. Uh, the, the landline one's not even in this room. Hey, is that Tiki? Tokyo that Mirage one's a it's, it's a tele FD it's a Encore home phone, but it's not landline. 17th. You can pre-purchase the game later today. Uh, how many? Pe oh, yeah, just have their numbers on your phone. Welcome back. Yeah, but I mean, we. What it seems. What's this? Boston, 2019. Oh, okay. It all begins again. 
when FBI agent Aaliyah Davis opens an investigation so into an old serial killer case. She also opens a door to the Looks unknown, like a zombie kind of. A door that also takes us back to New Orleans. New Orleans, New Orleans, ago. however you per want to say it. Here, our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of York. The journey between past and present will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. Is it first person? But what lies at the end? Will it be truth or madness? Oh no, it's not Deadly first person. Deadly 2, A Blessing in Disguise, it's right. and Beguiles on Nintendo Switch in 2020. And now for a shocker. The original game in the series will launch oh. on Nintendo eShop at Deadly Premonition Origins later today. Nice. Divinity oh yeah, you were in Boston. Two Definitive Edition is finally coming to Nintendo Switch. I Check missed where they out. said Boston. I'm, w I'm wondering if they're gonna announce Assassin's Creed. I, I think they'd just be ports, but still. Nintendo Switch Online membership sold separately. Yeah. I already, I already am a member, so. But I'm not gonna buy every game on the Switch, though. Oh, Cloud says. Oh, Steam and Nintendo. I've, I think that's the first time I've seen Steam mentioned in the Nintendo Direct. I could be wrong. I've seen like Xbox. They've had like Xbox in video presentations, but not. I don't remember seeing Steam ever. I could be wrong. Okay, yeah. Alright, sounds good. Thanks for coming, though. For a message from Bethesda. Bethesda? This is hey, Doom Eternal. Fans. Pete Hines from Bethesda. On behalf of everyone at id Software, I'm excited to announce something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. This is sure many of you have fond things. memories of spending countless hours playing your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Well... This year is the 25th anniversary of Doom, one of the most popular first-person shooter franchises. This is Doom 64. Ever. Yeah, it's Doom 64. We're re-releasing one of our favorite games, Doom 64. Oh, nice. For the first time since its original release in 1997, Doom 64 will be officially available on a Nintendo console. We live your crusade against the so demons 64. in more than 30 action-packed levels. Or, if you're a newcomer, experience the retro first-person shooter that helped make Doom one of the most popular shooter franchises in history. How many Bethesda Doom games do we have on the Switch now? I've lost Nintendo track. Switch on November 22nd this year. Available November 22nd. I right, already said that. Introducing a brand new IP from developer High res Studios, Rogue Company. To most of the world, Rogue Company is a rumor at best, but its operatives are the real deal. And as one of these elite specialists, you'll face That's not a first party Nintendo studio, I don't think, is it? And tools to combat the infamous organization Jackal. Play against friends or match up with a similarly skilled team online in a variety of objective based game modes. Huh, 60 if you FPS. Guns, gadgets, or melee weapons, your playstyle will depend on your choice of mercenary, which can be fully customized. There will be plenty of modes, maps, weapons, skins. Wish more games on Switch ran more. at 60 FPS. When Rogue Company sneaks up on Nintendo Switch, I don't think that's owned by Nintendo. I think that's a third-party game or indie game. How's it going? Next, the new titles in the core Pokemon RPG series: uh, no, no, Pokemon I'm Sword tired. and Pokemon Shield. Right, let's get it over with. We have more information to share that will shed new light on this next Pokemon adventure. Well, don't spend like 25 minutes talking about it. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield take place in the Gala region, a scenic okay, land no, it's not, where didn't people expect and it, Pokemon work together toward a the prosperous game looks fine, future. But Among them, you'll encounter new Pokemon it's and meet new town people or whatever it's called. Adventure. Looked better than this. Today, not saying this looks bad. It looks fine. But you can look forward to. Doesn't look great though. First, customizing your look. Because With that, again, another game. The latest entry in Although the series on lets a little you bit. pick your outfit. This time, it's not just tops and bottoms, but a wide variety, <laughs> including outerwear and gloves. Plus, you can change your hairstyle or put on a little makeup. 
There's a lot more to becoming a champion than simply honing your battle skills. You've got to look the part too, don't you think? Second, Pokemon Camp. During your journey through the Galar region, you can camp anytime at Pokemon oh. Camp. While you're there, you Even can in the play water? with your Pokemon. Said any time. As you get to know it didn't say battle, anywhere though. They'll also improve in battle. Additionally, in the wild area, you can visit other players' camps. I do like the open, open world. Feel free aspect to bring of the game, along one of your Pokemon and hang out with up to three other players at the camp. Three? Why not four? We definitely no, recommend only three. interacting with another player's Pokemon. Third, curry on rice. Pokemon Camp is also a great place to cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region. Curry on rice. How your curry turns out, and what type it is, ultimately depends on which berries and other ingredients you use. Not to mention the heart you put Excuse into me. it. There are more than 100 types. And each one you cook up will be registered in your curry decks. The goal? To master the art of curry. Huh? What's that Pokemon doing here? And four. We'll introduce some new Pokemon discovered in the Gala region. First is Poltegeist. Normally, it makes a home for itself by hiding amongst tableware, hotels, and restaurants. Its body is made of tea, complete with its own aroma and flavor. It may even allow a trusting trainer to taste its tea. This ghost-type Pokemon also has a special ability called Weak Armor. Next, another new Pokemon called Cramorant. This flying and water type Pokemon has one huge appetite. It will swallow anything it can fit in its mouth. When it uses surf or dive during battle, watch as it rises from the water, along with the catch in its mouth. If it takes huh? damage in this state, it'll retaliate by spitting out its catch at the attacker. This is Cramorant's exclusive new ability, Gulp Missile. And that's all we have to share with Good. you today. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. I thought they were going to focus on that way too much. Switch, November 15th. Well, how about that? There are still two more months until the game releases. Please look forward to the day you can start your new adventure in the Galar region. So, it's been about a year since we began offering Nintendo Switch Online memberships. SNES? With Nintendo Switch Online, we're providing a variety of Better games SNES. and fun features. Oh, I don't care about that smartphone app. And now, we're looking to add in an additional library of games. Yes! It better be- Yes! Oh! Super Nintendo Entertainment Finally. System Nintendo Switch Online. Good! With That's what this, they should have done that a long time ago. a variety of classic Super NES games on Nintendo Switch. But I- they didn't. I don't know why. There are some you may not expect, like Stunt Race FX, hmm. which will be available to play on another system for the first time. Today? You can face off or team up in local multiplayer by passing a Joy-Con controller to a friend, columns. or even play Sega. together online. Oh, and the rewind function will be available. I don't care about the rewind function. I mean, it's there for like new players. Well, yeah, I guess I would be new to. I have played the SNES Here are the before, first though. games we plan to release. Would it be a separate game? A separate game. Like a separate app, I guess? All 20 of the games you see on screen Yeah, it looks tomorrow. like it. Oh, tomorrow. Uh, I thought that said Breath of, of the course, Wild for a minute. We'll eventually add more to the I lineup. honestly thought that said Breath of the Wild. It's like, what? This offer is exclusively available to Nintendo Switch online members. Well, this so might please get... enjoy them at no additional charge. Oh, you noticed this, did you? Wireless controllers, right? To recapture the original feel of these games, we will be releasing a Super Nintendo. Is it eighty bucks? This is gonna be like eighty bucks. Nintendo Switch Online or hundred dollars for as a special Canada, offer. probably or something like that. To charge it, you can use the USB cable, just like the Nintendo Switch Pro controller. Said the Wii U controller. This Super NES style controller will be available for purchase. Why is it cheaper? Oh, you're only getting one. Online members, visit the Nintendo website for the latest. Why is the NES one on more expensive then? That doesn't make sense. Wouldn't it be nice to play those games again? I mean, yeah, you get one controller, but two NES, it's eight. Bucks. Would it be 40 for one, but 30 for this? That, that makes no sense. Okay, yeah, I have heard about a physical version for this game. Nintendo Switch Online members, 
For large scale puzzle is it physical? Game, Tetris 99 is getting a free update. Oh, Tetris I thought there was a physical Invictus edition. Is here, and not for the faint of heart. Uh, you can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Maximus status. Can you survive against the best of the best? Well, probably good not. Luck. We're also adding in daily missions for some added okay. challenges. By clearing these missions, you can acquire tickets and exchange them for variety oh. of custom themes. Sweet! To showcase your accomplishments, we're tossing in a vast array of new player icons, too. Hmm, cool. Beyond that, the second wave of paid DLC is here as well. In two-player share battle mode, pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend for a two-player game against each other and the CPU. Right, you get nice. together with friends to battle via local wireless on your Nintendo Switch system. And this is free. Arena mode. The version 2.0 update for Tetris 9 will be available tomorrow. A packaged version including the oh, game, okay, DLC, and a Nintendo Switch Online 12-month individual membership will be available September is, Okay, so there is going to be one. Well, how much is that going to cost? Mario and Sonic. Oh, Mario and Sonic. Old school in Tokyo. Mario and Sonic. The Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games has become a tradition of its own. This time, yeah, with the exception of events, uh, including the 100 meter karate, Korea, football, South Korea. Skateboarding. I don't think there was a South Korea game. I think there was an Ubisoft Olympic game instead. Yeah, there was Steep. Surfing. And you know Maybe that's what? the ultimate reason more where that came from. why uh, Steep got canceled on the Switch. Check I out assume it's these 10 me. retro style events. I didn't directly say that, Each but basically it is. Sweet 2D style graphics. They're all new, all retro, and very refreshing to play. On top of that, there are new mini games, unlockable characters, and a story mode in which Mario, Sonic, Bowser, and Dr. Eggman must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 will go for the gold November 5th. The next Damon X Machina demo will be here sooner than mm. you think. Ahead of the full game's release next week, the free demo version, Damon X Machina Prologue Demo, will be available for download oh, later today. Cool. In this prologue, you'll man your mech through the beginning of the game. And all of your progress can carry over to the full game. If you've never played a mech action game and you're wondering what they're all about, this is the perfect time to take one for a test drive. We're still not getting the Assassin's Creed? The feature of this demo is the co-op mode for up to four players. And we're happy to report that it can be played via local wireless. So, gather your friends, and make the bosses feel like the little guys. The full game will also support online play. Be ready by customizing your mech and honing your skills on missions. What hides beneath your mech's armor? A god, or a demon? Damon X Machina will be ready for action Marvelous. September 13th. Does that seem to be in No More Heroes? The Star Wars classic so fun, it's back for more. Really? Kyle Katarn, uh, I'm actually Switch surprised we're getting a Star Wars game on the down. Switch. That's not shovelware. Ready. Blaster in hand. And look at the frame rate. Yeah, it's an older game, but still. Full power of the force. Courtesy of Aspire, the full well, well done, EA. Star Wars, Jedi Knight 2, Jedi well, it doesn't say EA. I guess it's better than... It's better than nothing, I guess. Got new details on some upcoming games. Is where my journey begins. Witcher 3! Mercenary Monster Slayer. It's the Witcher 3. Tracking down a living weapon known as the Child of Prophecy. You'll is this the DLC? I thought all the DLC was at home and on the go. When the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition comes to Nintendo Switch on October 15th. And all downloadable content and story expansions are along for the ride. Ooh, Become the most feared pirate in the Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Then transform into the ultimate Rebel Assassin's collection? In Assassin's Creed Rogue. That's two action-packed games for one okay. value. All past DLC and new features like touch control and motion aiming coming exclusively to Nintendo Switch and Assassin's Creed The Rebel Collection. Battle for survival at the edge of a savage frontier is this? the online free-to-play action RPG Dauntless. Whether you're a Dauntless. veteran looking to take your Slayer on the go or a rookie ready to forge your legacy, you'll hone your skills, craft and customize hundreds of gear options, and team up with other slayers to take down boss size behemoths. All right. As you can see, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding loads Now, is the Assassin's Creed game going to come to uh, other consoles as well? Considering that Rogue and Black Flag are already on PS4 and Xbox One? I don't know. Are they just not going to get the remasters? Open your calendar. More 
games are on the way. Why did it just get quieter? The voices went quieter. What is that? Alright. Hey, I mean, this is pretty good direct. Don't, I don't care about that game. Don't care about Just Dance 2020. Ubisoft, I mean, at least they showed Assassin's Creed. Uh. Why is it louder? Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys on YouTube. Uh, it's just the bot. Like you drive a truck and bar anything? Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch, September 20th. So it comes out the day uh, Switch Lite comes out. Oh, this comes out uh, Thursday? Friday. Friday is September 6th. I don't care about this. Oh, there's the Switch Lite. That comes out on the 20th. Oh, this is a Call of Duty. I honestly don't care about Call of Duty. I might get the Modern Warfare remaster on PC, possibly. Not remaster, remake. The remake, not remaster. Devil May Cry 2? Oh, that's coming. This month. Was that announced before? I don't know. Vampire? Alright. I might get this game. I might get this game. I want to get to see like a Rockstar game. That's probably it. How's everything going? Next up, Animal Crossing. New oh, Horizon. nice. Animal Crossing, new, new not new new, new, new Horizons. Why am I saying so new lead? We a video covering what was announced. Let's see, shall we? This is a uh, new leaf on the Wii U. The Wii U. The Wii does work on the Wii U, though. Uh, I didn't give me a package by Nook Inc. We'll offer. Hmm. Well, I prepared fun little promotional video just for you. A fun little. Okay. It's called Welcome to Island Life. Okay, Tom Nook. Oh, it's starting. It's starting. All right, Tom Nook. Tim Nook. Tim. I was gonna say Tim Cook. No, it's Thank Tom Nook. Thank you for choosing Nook. the deserted island getaway package. So it's gonna be like voice. I guess it's voice acting in this game. In a haven of nature awaits. For you and the other folks participating in the getaway package, the time's come to get into the groove of deserted island life. It may There's some be a voice deserted acting. island. But the resident services building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's nothing to worry about. For starters, we'll provide you with a tent. Please select the spot. Did they say Assassin's Creed up. comes out again? I already forgot. Oh, and there's I heard leaks else. say October, We'd so I'm like to assume offer you October. an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. Nook phone. It comes pre-installed with a variety of apps for all your deserted island needs, including recipes for crafting tools and furniture. Let's start by crafting an axe. We're going to need some materials, like branches, and stones. Then we'll head to resident services and use the workbench. Nicely done. Mm. You can use the tools you craft to acquire new materials, like this. And with those, you can craft more items. Feel free to place furniture inside. So it's bigger inside. That, that makes perfect outside. sense. outside. You can fine tune the arrangement the tents so that the are decor bigger expresses when you're inside your style. Than they are outside. And you can fully enjoy the deserted island life. Because Let's that makes head sense. Back to resident services. Here we sell. Why is that one so much bigger than them? We also buy your unwanted items, including any weeds you remove, as part of our <laughs> island cleanup. Some plan. weeds. Oh, not in weed. Addition to the There's usual weed. Yes, yeah, so there's going to be weeds in the bells. game. You can also That's great. Nook miles <laughs> Actually, the nook I wish it was. Program. You can exchange your miles for special items and recipes. You miles? earn miles through a host of activities no on the island, so be sure to take advantage of this program. Unless it's going to be different in there other countries. There are many ways to experience the, the joys same. of life on a deserted island. I, I really don't care that much, though. Catch some bugs. Tend to flowers. And pick Can them you, like, to make a garland. Can you, like, catapult yourself over the lake? Or the, like, the stream? Thanks it's to crafting, lake. even weeds have their uses. A vaulting pole makes it easy okay, there to quickly you cross a river. Fall over. A nutritious snack will help you shovel up a tree in no time. 
Oh, she's that easy to dig up a tree in real life. Up in that corner of the island. Oh, you just move? That makes sense. This uh, what? It's Animal Crossing. Time and Who cares? Shell. Sunshine. Cloudy days. Rainfall. And enough wind I wonder if there's going to be like a real life uh, setting to have um, Depending on the time weather. Of day and the season, you'll I wouldn't be surprised if there was. That'd to be cool. Too. Caught a pond smelt. Sociable types who live together on the same island can play simultaneously. Up to four players at a time on one system. We hope you enjoy living together and working together in the same space. On one system? The local wireless or internet oh, okay, yeah, you can do that too. I was gonna say, to it's like the camera's not following it. Total of eight it's only like following one, one person. Visit. The whole scene feels meant to be. Why not snap a photo with everyone and make it a lasting memory? And she's just sleeping back there. House does like a run faster. Looking. What we've shown you here today is truly just the beginning. Well, there should be able There's to. so much more waiting to be discovered. So many activities, animals to encounter, and more <laughs> calling to you from the island. We can't wait for you to experience the Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. Like a shark. Alright, Animal Crossing New Horizons, or is it called Welcome to... No, hey, March 20th. So, how'd it look? Pretty good. There's still a bit more time until the game launches. Weed. So please stay tuned. Alright, the next game will be our last announcement of the day. Please well, they announced uh, Assassin's Creed. Two Assassin's Creed games, uh, Rebel Collection. What is this? What is this? Is this Breath of the Wild 2? No, I don't think it's Breath of the Wild 2. What is this? A Xenoblade Chronicles 3? Is this a port? It looks like an older game. I haven't played a Xenoblade at all, so... It used to be a third-party franchise, and then it was acquired by Nintendo as a first-party studio. Do you wish to change it? Huh? Huh? Was this on the Wii? Not the, the Wii U, but the Wii. I think it is a Xenoblade it's something. Oh, it is. Okay, a Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Nice. That was on the Wii, I believe. Not the Wii U, but the Wii. Didn't it originally release as a third-party game? And then it was owned by Bandai Namco for a while, and then they sold it. They sold the studio. I forgot the name of the studio. But they sold that to Nintendo. Okay. I'm going to... Monolith Soft's Xenoblade Chronicles, they have announced a lot. which originally released in 2012 on the Wii system, okay, is yeah, the original Wii. reborn on Nintendo Switch as Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Are we gonna get? What if we got GTA the game 5? Is planned for release in 2020. Please look forward to more announcements in the future. That's it for today. Ah, wait, 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 for watching. What if there's a surprise after? Um, no, okay. Um, now they announced. Three, okay, well, I know some of them aren't new games. But wait, what? Oh, there's more? There's more. There's apparently more. Oh, that was fast. Hello, everyone. I'm Masahiro Sakurai, director of the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game. Angel Kazooie. In our last showcase, I talked a little bit about Hero. Nintendo does this all the time. It's like, oh, that's it. And then it's like, oh, here's one, something else. Why am I looking at my phone when I'm talking? You may feel like some time has passed since our hero showcase, but we're actually recording this he looks tired. two days after that broadcast. We sure are busy, even if I say so myself. He does look tired, though, if I do say so now myself. Now that today's Nintendo Direct is over, please let me take just a little bit No, more the Direct's not over. I'm just going to go ahead and say you this is the Direct still. You may remember the hero showcase, I was playing by myself, using two controllers, like this. <laughs> what? Hero, if you cast spells using command He's playing like this. He's playing opposing heroes will block those people. attacks automatically using their shield. Characters. So in the background, I was actually using the second controller to make the hero look away or do moves so my attacks would connect. Why not just get a Today second player? I my controller set up side by side, but back in the GameCube days, I lined them up vertically like this. 
Try doing this with the Nintendo Switch Pro controllers, however, I only have one up accidentally pressing the L and R buttons. So even though it's a bit of a pain, I do so, it like this now. This is Nintendo Switch. I have it plugged in. Also be doing USB C. Two fighters at once, kind of like Banjo. Switch, uh, Wii U Pro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna All right, try. let's get started. It didn't work very well. So, what is Banjo? I can't even do it with this. Well, in terms of genre, it's similar to Super Mario 64, and it was first released on Nintendo 64. <laughs> How are you supposed to do that? You imagine this was the, the controller Banjo for the Switch. Made his first appearance a year earlier in a game called Diddy Kong Racing. After that, that was made by Rare. Banjo Kazooie was released, and then Banjo Tooie. Two titles were then released. This is probably one of my favorite events, controllers. Although they never came to Japan. I didn't know it was on the Game Boy Advance. And then there's Banjo Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts, well, was which was released on Xbox 360. Real, they're really going to be talking about Xbox now? <laughs> As some of you may know, well, they Banjo are Kazooie print. IP now belongs to Microsoft. Microsoft. This is getting deep. No, are we going to see Phil Spencer come up all of a sudden? Platform holder. Even yeah. so, they were happy for Banjo and Kazooie to join. Yeah, because it's a competitor, but series. still. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Rare also welcomed us with open arms. Oh, welcome us with open so, arms. Does that mean, is that a hint today, for Nintendo? So on Xbox. <laughs> I know this is a Nintendo <laughs> broadcast, but please give the game a try on Xbox. Are you kidding me? <laughs> really? <laughs> I did not expect that, the Nick. The Banjo-Kazooie series music has a country feel to it. If we Country. were to include this music in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as is, it wouldn't really match the atmosphere of battle. Well, why not? So we put a lot of effort into arranging the music for the game. I mean, I'm not saying don't remaster like it. play for you several of these arrangements during the showcase. I thought you the Nintendo is like... Here. Like, yes, here. <laughs> You'll see the track names. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the fighter. <laughs> So there's a new, there's a game now available on Xbox Live apparently, but not Switch and and uh it's a Nintendo Direct. It's like yep, go ahead, yeah, it's not on our system, but go ahead and play it on a competitor system. So this is Banjo and Kazooie in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. There's Kazooie. That's awesome though. We're using you would never see Sony do that though. So the camera is a bit different from the production version. <laughs> Mario, woohoo! I'm a number one. Mario. It's easier. I can roll my R's, but it sounds more natural when I don't for some reason. Look at the background. It's like a ring. It's a me, Mario. As opposed to it's a me, Mario. Mario. Their neutral attack is called claw swipes. All right, I'll stop. This ability looks similar to this in the original game, but we build upon the original motion so it better fits the action of our game. Their flurry attack is a red attack wrap. Their dash attack is a forward <laughs> roll, which is something Donkey Kong uses as well. This move is a pretty useful one. How long is the stream there? Down tilt. That was only supposed to be 40 minutes long. It's a witch in the background. Their up smash is build drill. It looks a bit different from their original games, but the animation reflects the fact. I am gonna actually end the stream after this. In Japanese, their side smash is called Harisen. Japanese. Harisen is a word that only exists in Japanese, so I was curious what this move would be called in the West. In English, it's called Regal Bash. I well, Banjo Kazooie is actually a Western Kazooie character. Is. And, so well, in the UK, that's where bird bash, Banjo Kazooie is made in the United Kingdom, I believe. It's for rare space. Their neutral air is used to be a, owned by Nintendo, though. But now it's owned by Microsoft. Their back air is Xbox air rat attack rat, which hits three times. Their down air is Beak Buster, which they use to downstab as they drop. Biku Busto. Busto. I'm trying to say Japanese accent. Japanese English accent. As you can see, even their regular attacks are based on attacks Super from the Smash Brothers game. Ultimate. Dalanto Smash Brothers Special. Yeah, because it's called Super Banjo Smash Brothers Special. Or Super Fighters the Smash Brothers Special. Technically. Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, where Banjo sometimes stretches. Because I think Dairanto, Dairanto translates like to, to Super Fighters. First, their neutral special is egg firing. It's pretty much their go to move. The eggs bounce. And by holding down the button when launching the eggs, you'll do the attack you see here. Regal Blaster. Regal Blaster is based on this part in Banjo Tooie where the screen mimics an FPS. 
That's kind of cool. You can hold the button for auto fire, but as you do, the power of the eggs will gradually increase. And then stage so moves. Look at that ring. You can cancel it by crouching or pressing the shield. It's button. just there teasing you, probably. Next, their side special is Wonder Wing. As in their original game, it's an invincible charging attack. Like the character in the back. It's fairly powerful it's and will like basically just messed up my hair. Not that it wasn't messed up before. However, you can see some feathers above Banjo's head. There are five of them in total, and I just use up all of them. After using them up, you won't be able to use the attack again until you lose a stock. Since the remaining uses of Wonder Wing only appear above their heads once activated, you'll really need to make sure you hammer the number of uses into your head. You can use it as a recovery option, and since it's likely to trump counterattacks, it doesn't have many disadvantages, but it does have a weak point. If it's blocked with a shield, for instance, you'll be wide open to attack. Another In addition, Famous. you can be grabbed during this move. At any rate, keep track of how many Wonder Wing uses you have left. And when fighting against Banjo and Kazooie, make sure to take action against this attack and remember to keep an eye on it. It's important to keep this in mind. How did Nintendo get all the rights to use all these characters? Uh, third party characters, that is. I mean, Microsoft makes sense, and then obviously Nintendo. First, you can hit we got characters from Bandai Namco, Konami characters, uh, I believe uh, Ubisoft. Also, it's U you can't play as Ubisoft characters for whatever reason, but maybe that'd be the last DLC character, uh, Assassin's Creed character. Meaning you can jump twice in a row. What? Why were you timed out? You shouldn't have been timed out. You can use it like this. Hold on. And then dodge, increasing your ability to recover. Why were you timed out? You shouldn't have been timed out. I don't know why. The height of a shock <laughs> jump will change depending on how long you hold the button down. Why was he timed out? Oh, he did. Okay. Yeah, just uh, hold on. I'm gonna untime you. Now I'm using all caps because I'm an idiot. It's a grenade egg. This is a slightly odd projectile in that it can only be launched behind the fighter. Because the grenade egg is football shaped, its bouncy trajectory okay. can be Sorry. After a certain time, it will explode. I think it will be a useful tool for keeping opponents in check. It's treated like an item, so you can pick it up and throw it. You shouldn't have been timed out, though. Your opponents can also throw it back at you. Oops. Oh, what? Its detonation sequence is relatively short. So both you and your opponents will need to make sure you throw it quickly, or it will explode while you're still holding it. I guess there are a lot of different ways to use this ability. Okay, sorry about that. Lastly, their final smash is the mighty. It shouldn't Gingenator. time you out right away though. I don't know why it did that. The mighty Gingenator is what delivered the final blow to Gruntilda in their original game. This move will send your opponents flying. This stage is called Kurukuriyama in Japan, but in the west it's called Spiral Mountain. As you can see, it's a mountain where the bottom portion is a spiral shape. A rotation icon will appear. And the stage will spin. This is quite unusual, <coughs> even for the Super Smash Brothers series. It's truly unique. Anything on the stage, items or otherwise, will also move. As the stage turns, I like the how it just slides up. Mountain will also transform, meaning your recovery points will also change. Platforms like this will appear from time to time. A bridge will also appear when Gruntilda's lair is visible. Now that we've covered both the fighter and the stage, let's go ahead and jump into some actual battles. This time, I'll be taking on not just one, but two fighters in team battle. Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong versus Banjo and Kazooie. Hang on, so there are actually two on my side too? So I should be fine, right? Probably not. In fact, definitely not. 
looks like they're really on your side. Pretty bad. If I just stand around, so I'll play carefully. Oh, there's two on the side. Okay. Keep them in check. Your eggs, which can be fired forward or backward, are useful at oh, no, times no, like no, this. Oh no, 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 Thanks to Kazooie, Banjo and Kazooie saying they're on his side. with a relatively no, wide range of attack. We'll make good use of these as we take them on. <coughs> no, we're playing with items on. Nice. Hmm. I think we're doing pretty good so far. I have two opponents, and since items are on, they'll have twice as many opportunities to pick up items. And since the final smash meter is on, the opponent can use it twice. I'm at quite a disadvantage, but I'm going to try my hardest. I can use Wonder Wing two more times. Oops, I guess I should be explaining all their moves, huh? Auto fire, auto fire. Ooh, ouch. Oh, their final smash meter's filled up. You can have that. You can have that. Now. And. Nice. <coughs> Whoa, look at that animation. Does it get them both? Should. Now that there's one no? less opponent, this should be easier. Oh, another smash ball. I do want to use a final smash, but it might be a bit tough. Oh, that's good. <laughs> and final smash. I Game them out, sucked. So I win. What the hell? What's this doing? Banjo picks up a jiggy from the original game. <laughs> really? That's a wrap. I'd also like to talk about some of the cameos that liven up the stage. First, we have the witch Gruntilda. Oh, the, the 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 this poor soul gets sealed underground by a boulder. Anyway, she's very cool, and you can hear all about her from her sister, Gruntilda. Oh, the mop? The, the broom has a face on it too, apparently, I just noticed. This is Bottles, a mole, and another poor soul. His fate is sealed from the beginning of Banjo 2. He's a friend of Banjo and Kazooie. What's that Next in the background? Mumbo Jumbo. Oh, this it's looking at the phone. All of his Mumbo tokens stolen by Gruntilda. He helps you out in many ways throughout the game. And we have Tootie. <coughs> Can you spot her? At the bottom She's of the screen? At the bottom. Oh, yeah. Kind of cool. She's tiny and you can barely even make her out. But by zooming in, you can see all the detail, even at her size. You could probably make an action game just using this. She's raising havoc on the vegetable patch for some reason. And you're gonna, after you're that, not gonna be able to strike some enigmatic. Would you all, Would you be able to move the camera like that though? Now she's heading back home. She looks all calm when you look at her this way, but this soul is actually the saddest of all the souls. You'd understand how miserable she really is if you saw the game over scene in Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, maybe she's not going home? <coughs> and here come the Jinjos. We saw some of these a short while ago when the mighty Jinjinator appeared. This looks more realistic than Pokemon. They come in many different colors and were hidden throughout the, the world only thing is until 2D the in the original so game. So you could say they're also sad souls. And now we see something floating around in the background. These are our basic enemy characters called Buzz Bombs, but since they can float around, they're lucky enough to have made the cut in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This is what they look like close up. It's basically a dragonfly, right? We put a lot of thought into the guest characters as well, and we put a lot of effort into these hard to see areas, so I hope you enjoy it. Yos, that's something I was trying to mimic what he said. Let's talk music. As I mentioned earlier, we're taking country style music and adapting it for use in battle. We're including a total. What if they got a real country music. artist in the game? <laughs> That'd be funny. Whoa, ten. That's not bad. Of ten. these seven are entirely new arrangements. Oh. I've always thought that getting all this for $5.99 is a fantastic deal. So, I hope you enjoy it. 
The music for Spiral Mountain was arranged by Grant Pan. He created the original Banjo Kazooie's music. It's not gonna be 599 yen. It's not gonna be 600 yen. It'd be more than that. Whatever. I've six dollars. Many musicians. Say four ninety nine or five ninety nine. Whatever. This is the first time I've worked with a musician outside of Japan. Oh. Is that uh? What's his name? Will be understood. But he did an absolutely wonderful job. I forgot his name. And here's the list of tracks this time. What was the guy's name? Each of the new tracks has been carefully tailored to match the action taking place on screen. He's from the UK, but he has done work with Retro Studios and. Austin, Texas before, Alongside which is uh, one of Nintendo's sub-series. That's where Nintendo has some of their games developed We're in Texas. We're very with the sales of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And to express our appreciation, we've added another game mode, which will oh. pretty much be our final new mode. I'm going to go ahead and play, so please take a look. I gotta look it up, sorry guys. And here it is. You need to damage the sandbag in front of you as much as possible. And with this bat, not with this, but this bat. Oh, they're bringing home and run the contest back. How many kilometers? Maybe a little too high. Yeah, that's right. How high can it go? And so, home run contest makes its return. Nice! It's been powered up in various ways compared to previous home run contests. Two kilometers. So enjoy. It's almost 303 this time, kilometers. This sandbag has flown 300 kilometers. I think that's about the distance from Tokyo to Nagoya. That's if you drive on the Tome Expressway. <laughs> All the laughing. You can actually David Wise. That was players. his name. So I guess he helped out with Smash Brothers. I didn't know that. Let's give it a go. Attack, attack, and keep attacking using both players. Time to strike. Here we go. No. <laughs> what? Sorry, I'm gonna rewind it just Here we once. Go. Okay, it's no more. Players. <laughs> Time to strike. Here we go. No. No. This isn't how you're supposed to play the game. When I say two players can take part, I mean friends can play together. <laughs> okay. And not one person playing as two fighters. I like his personality. I hope you play this with your friends. Well, I thought you were supposed to play with two controllers. I thought that's how the game worked. shared content, many people have uploaded their customized Mii Fighters. <laughs> Up until now, it may have been a little difficult to use <laughs> since you were not able to customize their special moves. But moving like forward, in the other game, will be able to freely customize Wii U and 3DS. Moves. If you find a Mii Fighter that you'd like to look at, oh, yeah, you can freely have, like, download the, uh, and set the special um, moves however you want. Nintendo Labo them. thing in the game. Oh, it's like the VR. However, this will not be applied to Mii Fighters created before this software update. It only applies to Mii Fighters created after the update. So I hope you re-upload your Mii Fighters. Oh, excuse me. Please enjoy many different varieties of Mii Fighters. We will add in some Mii Fighter costumes. Imagine well. if they said like that's the that's it, and then we all of a sudden get another announcement after this. Not really. I don't care about the Mii's. If other people do, that's great, but I just don't have much interest in them. Mega Man! That's me, so. I like Mega Man, but. It still looks cool. Don't get me wrong. Where is my. Oh, I got Smash Bros. downstairs. I got my Nintendo Switch up here. It's not connected to the TV right now. Pokemon! Oh, I do have the Switch. Now, I want to see if any of the stuff's live. What, what is Mortal Kombat 11 doing? Is that updating on my Switch? What are you doing? How long is this update? I don't want to start it. 
I didn't know I had the game in. Super Mario Odyssey. Alright, it's from Mega Man 2, I believe. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate! I'm trying to do like the 64. Nothing. Okay, so each shirt, 75 cents US. Would that be like 140 Canadian, something like that? Sands from Undertale, who was a popular request. I gotta put on the this password. Sans outfit also comes with a music track. This will be listed in the other category, so you can check it out there. The what the hell? That's not the right password? Of Undertale himself, oh, it's my other Toby password. Fox. I don't remember at the time. Toby has actually visited my house, and we played oh. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate together. Does he speak Japanese? He was actually really good. He might speak a little. But... Well, of all the guests, he was probably the strongest. All right, let's see. When we both chose random and played, the win ratio was about half and half. Overwatch. Or I may have been losing. Well, that's not out yet. But... Kirby. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Kirby Next, game. I'd like to talk about a new set of amiibo that will soon be available. Squirtle. Ivysaur. Ivysaur. Snake! Oh! <gasps> Snake! Snake! From Metal Gear Solid. Why he was hiding. Yeah, he was hiding. They will each be available on September 20th. Now, I believe Ivysaur is called something else in Japan. The software update, including the Banjo and Kazooie DLC, will be available today. Oh, there's a demo for Chase Pyro now. I wonder, I wonder, I don't think there's a demo for Mario Odyssey 2. Mario Odyssey. Mario Maker 2. Oh, As mentioned in Nintendo Direct. Terry Bogard will be joining Super Smash Bros. Nice, Ultimate. even though I don't Although care that much, but still, I mean, I like Smash, I just don't care about that character. I'm gonna download Some of you may wonder Kirby game for free. Is. Well, it's shaping up nicely. So when's the SNES games come out? But we weren't quite ready is it today or tomorrow? I don't remember what this is. That SNK Neo Geo opening was fun, wasn't it? Oh, it's out now. No, it's not. What? I'd like to show you just a little bit of in-game footage of Terry. Here you go. Lots of emotes. Yeah, it could be that the SNES isn't out yet. Finally. It was announced that we will be working on even more DLC fighters. I already have the download of it. It feels like the finish line is sliding farther away. It's updates? I don't know. You may wonder, how much longer can he be involved with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? That's probably just an update. Excited. Adding more characters into the game means that more game worlds will be added to the series. <coughs> And ultimately, that means that there will be an even greater opportunity to delight the fans. At the same time, I feel that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is now representing so many characters in game worlds that it's become an enormous game. It already is enormous. Even if the Super Smash Bros. series continues moving forward, I doubt there will ever be an opportunity to bring this many characters together again. And so, I want to keep improving on this record as much as possible. And I will continue to work hard at developing the game. Good. I appreciate your support. That's it for today. Thank Are you, you sure? Much. Can you imagine if they was like, Oh, we have one more announcement. Grand Theft Auto 6. We're not going to hear Grand Theft Auto 6. At least not the Switch. Uh, Yeah, that's it. Once you see the Nintendo logo, that pretty much means it. Yeah, so that was actually really, really good. Um, how long did that direct go on for, I wonder? How long did it go on for? That was over an hour long. Come on, Nintendo. Don't do that to us. I mean, yeah, okay, granted, that was after the direct, but I still count that as the direct. Anyway, um, I'm going to end this here. Um, I'm going to end the stream. So I hope you all enjoyed that... Uh, Nintendo Direct, we got all these games. Two new, uh, it's not two, they're not new Assassin's Creed games. We, 
you know, they're new remasters, though, I guess we could call it that. So, and then we got the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate presentation, which I'm going to go and ahead and associate that. Um, by the way, yeah, I have my Mario shirt on. I don't know why I'm just pointing this out now. But, yeah, so that's going to be it. I want to thank everyone for watching. I'm going to put this on YouTube actually immediately after this is done. So, uh, I also want to apologize to you, Nick. Uh, you got timed out by the bot. I didn't catch that in time. I did cancel the timeout. So, hopefully it works. Um... Because you sh um, normally I don't want people using excessive uh, symbols, but in that case, the thing you did uh, didn't really bother me, especially if it's only one comment. You know, if it was like lines and lines and lines long for a single comment, if Twitch, however long Twitch allows you to go for, that'd be different. Anyway, uh, so hopefully you guys on YouTube and Twitch have, uh, um, blah, 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 I can't talk, I'm too excited. I have appreciated this direct. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed my coverage of it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Witcher 3, uh, Mario, Smash Brothers, uh, the new Zelda game, Metro Prime. I know we didn't get Metro Prime 4. I'm just saying that. Uh, SNES games or Super Famicom if you're in Japan. Um, yeah. And then I already said Smash. And then we have Assassin's Creed. Uh, I know I'm missing a lot, but that's all right. Free Kirby game. I'm downloading that right now. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed uh, I'm going to do a raid here, actually, before. Uh, looks like she's still streaming, so that's fantastic, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. If uh, It looks like I need to be streaming, or the stream uh, won't actually uh, work correctly. What the fuck? Um, yeah, so bear with me for a minute. Uh, this is Nimble Owl 888 We're going to raid her. Um... Yeah, so anyway, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. Uh, give this a second. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.